everyone, this is Intuitive Edge. Welcome to my channel once again. So, what a crazy election we had yesterday. I had put out some predictions on some House and Senate races, and I was very surprised um, with Joe Collins. I called him Chris, my apologies. But Joe Collins, I thought that he was going to win. He had some really good cards on his race. And uh, I was really surprised when he lost by a big margin. So I that one that one surprised me. Um, John James in Michigan, when I went to bed last night, he was ahead by almost like 10 points. And today it's just coming down to like a few thousand votes. So I don't know what's going on down there. I still think he's he was gonna win. He had some really good cards as well. Um, but he did have a couple, two reversals, and I wasn't sure. To me, they they didn't pour, they didn't spell any bad. But um, anyway, we'll we'll keep an eye on that one because he's a he's a rising star, and uh, I really had him slated to win. And then Steve Danes in Montana won his race, so I'm glad there because he did not have good cards there. So uh, the cards were all over the place last night. Um, but uh, Laura Loomer, I wasn't too surprised to see that she lost. Just the cards were on her were kind of iffy. So that didn't surprise me too much. But the big surprise was Joe Collins and John, John James being such a tight, tight, close um, race. But it looks like he may still win. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. And um, the presidential race has been crazy. Um, we're wondering why haven't they called certain states that seem to be like way ahead for either Biden or Trump. Why not just call them? Um, and it does seem like there's a lot of delay going on. Um, and that was something that several seers have been seeing, including myself, that there might be some type of delay. Um, I don't think it's gonna be a long-term thing. So, um, I went ahead and shuffled up and my question was, is what's next? I'm just going to, I thought, I'm just going to do a 10 card Celtic cross, just lay all the cards out and just see where it takes me. So what is next? What's coming? Now the first card out was like, oh no, we have the reverse justice. Justice reverse is an unfair situation, something that is not right. Something going on that is uh, underhanded. Um, in other words, justice is not being served. And it was crossed by a reverse ten of swords. Now the reverse ten of swords, the ten of swords upright is kind of an ominous card. It's not a, not a good, <laughs> it's like an ending of a bad situation. Um, but as a reversal, it can mean get it can mean that on the other side of a bad situation is like there's light at the end of the tunnel, like there's something good on the other side of it. So I'm thinking with that reverse justice, and that and then crossed immediately with something good on the other side of it, um, I'm remaining a little hopeful on that. Um, up top we have this card. The Four of Pentacles, and it came in upright. This is holding on to what's yours, holding on to the truth, holding on to, in this case, holding on to the election. Um, and in going into the past, we've got the sad card. So the sad card, having to walk away from something Moving through a difficult situation, being that reverse justice crossed by that Ten of Swords that is indicating something is over and something new on the other side. And we've got this king on the forward position. I think the king, I think this represents Donald Trump emerging on the other side of this difficult situation. I think he will emerge on the other side of it victorious. We have the reverse two of wands on basically the situation with Donald Trump. And that's like your your vision for your 
for your path forward and it's like clouded because it's reversed. And on the environment around this, we've got a messenger, this page. Now this page can sometimes indicate a kind of a funky or funny business. And so probably I would imagine it's going to be exposing some fraud, exposing some shenanigans, some double crossing. We have another messenger on the on the wishes and this is like the fears. And we have this reverse night is all about things kind of grinding to a halt. And I've got an ace up top and it's reversed though. It's the card of victory. Having it reverse is a little frustrating because it's I think that just indicates more of this delay that we're seeing. Now I do see the King of Pentacles, his gaze is directly into that page of cups. And that page of cups, I think, is a messenger about something fishy going on, some some possible shenanigans or fraud. And that king is looking directly at it. And the king also has what looks like a bull of some kind behind him. I think there's going to be some things exposed. Some fraud or some funky business. It's going to come out. It's going to be exposed. Um, I think there's going to be um, some fraud in the, in the counting and the recounting possibly. But something's going to come out. Something that is uncovered through this. Okay, so I shuffled up again. I had one burning question that I'm sure all of you are wanting to know as well. And my question is, as I sat with it, paused the video, sat with this question, will Donald Trump vanquish his enemies and be inaugurated in January of 2021? Aside from all of this mal malarkey, <laughs> all of this mayhem that's going on right now, Will he vanquish his enemies and be inaugurated in January of 2021? And I shuffled up with that intent and thought I'm gonna lay out three cards and here they are. They all came up upright. First card out, Ace of Cups. That's a really nice positive card. Second card was the card from the previous reading, the King of Pentacles. The card that I felt symbolized Donald Trump. And the third card that kind of seals the deal for me is a lover's card. Major Arcana. Card of strategic partnerships. I do think we all should still continue to pray, to believe, to hold the high vibration. But to me, this looks good for the president to be inaugurated come January. And so we're going to hold that intent. Um, I did think back on my month ahead video, I saw something with Donald Trump making a big, huge announcement. I saw it around the 15th. But the date could be, you know, that could give a little. But I did see him coming out and making a big announcement. So, all right. Um, so I think once this dust settles, Donald Trump will be inaugurated in January. So we'll see what happens. That's what I think. All right, guys. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.